Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be filming a recent Sarah's video because I haven't posted in a couple months and I've also been very like, it's like too late for a favorites video. For the month of September, or no, for the month of <coughs> August. It's too late for that. So I'm just going to do like a recent broad one, like what's been my favorites this past couple months since I posted my last video. And right now it's all in my little pink pumpkin because Halloween is so close and I'm so excited. So I wanted to be festive and put it on the little pink pumpkin. And I wish I had my orange pumpkin to be like more, you know, classic, but I don't know where it is right now. My room is, like my room is clean, my closet is a disaster and I just can't, can't find it. So my first favorite is actually my birthday present for my boyfriend. My, my, my birthday was in July. But this didn't even come in until the end of July because it was like really back ordered or something. I don't know. But they are a favorite. And they are my Vogue. Vogue is the brand. Sunglasses. And they look like this. They are so cute and they're so like, I have a very, I don't even know what shape face I have. But small sunglasses look really bad on me. So I like big sunglasses and these are so perfect. My next favorite is... All my keys. It's a really new purchase. I actually got it like this sometime this week. And it is this keychain. That's a little kitty cat. But like it's actually like a weapon and you like put your fingers here and you can like stab someone if they're like attacking you or something like that. Um I just think it's so cute and like look my pepper tray and my little cat. Like I'm protected. But it's so cute. And yeah, it's all my keys. My next favorite is I'm gonna, actually I'll wait for makeup favorites and go on to like the rest of my like random favorites. Next favorite is a book called Dirty Pretty Things. It's a book of poetry. It's by Michael Faudet. It's really really like good, like well written. There's a lot of like really short poems. There's a couple kind of like closer to short stories, but like written in like poem form. I don't know. They're, it's like I don't know how, what they're called. Like there's a couple that are like longer. If you can see that. But there are some that are like really really short, like this is really short, but it's so beautiful and I am in love with it. It's my new like all time favorite book of life, like I love it, I'm so glad I bought it. And then my last like random favorite is a game, Cards Against Humanity. Um, this is the first time I've actually like owned the actual card game because I used to have the app on my phone called like Evil Apples and that's how I used to play it. But I finally bought this because like me and my friends um we like to go or my one friend's house I like to play like Jenga and stuff so I want to get this game to like add into like our gaming collection of like what we can do for fun I love it so yeah I got this it's been a huge favorite of mine and all my friends they've all been like oh yeah you got the game so I love it next for like my makeup favorites um I will start with like powders and stuff like what powdered products I've liked I have been loving this Milani powdered blush in the shade Awakening Rose. This is probably kind of like the last, I mean I can I can wear it in the fall, but it's very like glittery, or not glittery, but like glowy, it's very glowy. And it's a really pretty like corally pink, um, it looks like that. I love it, and I like how it's like so pretty in a rose. I have the one in Romantic Rose, which I think would be really really pretty in the fall. It's like a matte, like dark pink shade, I love it. And then an oldie but a goodie is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. Um, I used to, I bought this because like everyone was raving about it. I bought it like two years ago. And I used to not like it because I thought that it was like too, I don't know, like something just like, I just didn't like it. I didn't really know how to like bronze my face. I like always thought I had like contour, but this is not a contouring color. Um, I like to use it to like, Whenever I put bronzer on, I kind of, like, do focus on my contour, but I also, like, blend out all over, so it's, like, I'm not contouring, but I'm, like, you know, not, like, all over bronzing, but I'm, like, you know, doing it, whatever. I've been loving this. Um, right now I'm having, I have Hoola on my face. I, too, love Hoola, but I think I've mentioned Hoola before, so I wanted to mention this, because I'm wearing it a lot. And I can't really wear this in the fall to me, because, like, this is more of, like, a tanning looking like it looks more like I have a tan and the hula looks more like it's cooler than this one so I'll probably have to wear that for a while once it's get cold and I do live in Florida it's hot in Florida forever so we'll see 
Um, my favorite foundation of the past couple months has been this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. And I wear it in the shade Porcelain Light Ivory W1 to Warm. I love this stuff. I do have to powder over it. Only, I wish I didn't have to, but I have to powder over it because, like, it doesn't, like, dry down on my face. And some people can totally handle it not drying down, but I personally cannot handle that. I, I don't like to feel like a, a film on my face. So I do have to powder. I don't powder, like, heavy. I just kind of, like, lightly dust over it just to kind of, like, set it down. But it is so beautiful. It leaves such a nice finish on my face. I have been loving this for so long. And it will be really, really good in the winter time because of the fact that it doesn't dry down, which means it's not going to, like, cling to my dry patches as bad as, like, um, a mattifying satin-finished uh, foundation. Like, I do love my Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl. It's, like, my second pair of foundation. But that one does dry down matte, which I do love. But in the winter time, that's probably going to be clinging to dry patches. We'll see, though. I haven't worn it when it's cold yet. But this I love. My favorite mascara is my favorite one that I had in like middle school and then I stopped using it because I like was trying other ones and then I finally reverted back to it because I've been like really wanting like my hair is just not good today. I've been really wanting like thick long looking lashes like I want them to be dramatic and long because I'm tired of wearing eyeliner because I'm kind of getting over that stage of like winged liner kind of like over that like I do it I still like the look of it but I don't like doing it every single day like I used to because I'm not I'm not into that. But I love the Falsies Mascara. I, everyone, like, people love it, people hate it because I think it's clumpy. It doesn't clump for me. Like, I guess this is what it does for me. I put, like, six coats of it on this eye. And it doesn't usually clump. I just love this stuff so, so much because it gives me length and, like, it thickens them. So, this, I love. I don't know why I stopped using it, but I'm not doing it. I'm going to make this again because this is amazing. Oh, it's a favorite. My favorite brush, I've discovered this brush. It's so cheap. It's so amazing. You can only get it online, I think, though. I've never seen it in Target. But it is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, I think what's called. It is like a high, it's like a Sigma high-end brush. It is so nice. It's a perfect, like, blending for foundation. It's so soft. It's got synthetic bristles. This brush is amazing. The Target Up and Up brush that, like, looks just like this. It's like a, I don't know what that one's called. It's also, like, very comparable, so if you can't get things, like, I know, like, for the longest time, I couldn't buy things online because I didn't have a debit card, um, because it wasn't working. I couldn't, like, buy things online, so I could never get this brush, right? But, but if you're in the same situation I used to be in, then Target has one that's, like, the same price. It's, like, six fifty probably. This one's, like, exactly six bucks on Elf's website. It's amazing. I love this brush, like, to death. Like, it's so, 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 so good. I love it. Now the last of my products are all lip products. My pumpkin's empty. Um, I have five lip products. The first one, okay, I'm going to start out with my two favorite, like, neutral colors. What I'm wearing right now is Matte Naked by Milani. It's one of, the, it's from their, like, matte, moisturizing matte lip creams, maybe? I don't know, that, something like that. Do you smell? So, so, so good. I love this lipstick. It is so pretty. It is so affordable. You can get this. Buy one, get one free because I have another Milani lipstick to show you guys. But this is amazing. I love it. It's like my all-time, all-time favorite matte neutral lip color. And then I also love the Wet n Wild lipstick. And I think it's called Bare It All. This lipstick is so good for the color. Like, I know, like, Wet n Wild lipsticks are good quality, but usually the colors are just, like, off. And it dries down to, like, a matte satiny-looking formula. A formula. It's dries down to be, like, matte and satiny, and it's just so beautiful. And I am obsessed with it. I wear it to, like, when I go to work. I just want to, like, have color on my lips, but I don't want to, like, because they're not going to last as long as others. But I love it. And then, um, I have two colors that I love for fall. Because fall is coming up, and I'm all about fall lips. So my favorite fall neutral, not neutral, favorite fall brown, it's like a brownie neutral color. It's Matte Beauty by Milani. It's one of the same, like, moisturizing matte lipsticks. This color is so pretty. Very, very Rachel from Friends in my head. Like, I think it's so pretty. It looks really good for fall because those dark tones are good for, like, 
when you're like all warm and cozy and that color is like warm and cozy and amazing on your lips and my favorite red for the fall because I love red lips but I don't really wear red that much for summer I finally get to pull out my Revlon Colorverse Matte Balm again because this red is so pretty it just looks like amazing I'm in love with it it is so gorgeous it kills me I love it and then since again it's getting cold outside I get to pull out my cake batter chapstick which is my all-time favorite chapstick scent like this chapstick is my all-time favorite the just smell of this is so good and I hate using this in summertime because in summertime I don't want to smell that sickly sweet smell I want like fresh and fruity and like not really fruity like fresh and like floral that's kind of my thing but this is like delicious and I love it and I'm so excited for wearing it again because it's gonna be all cold so yeah that is my like recent favorites video um hopefully I'll have another one another like fall favorites video up really soon I also hope to have a Halloween haul coming up where I like not really have like fall haul coming up and yeah I have a couple videos in my head that I just have to kind of sit down and do them I only really have two days a week that I'm available to film so it kind of like hinders when I can film but I am going to try to film both those two days and get at least like a video up a week or at least one video up every week or two because I kind of want to get back into filming more it's just hard because also my I got a new laptop and this laptop doesn't have an editing program on it and I can't find one I want to download it's like a Windows it's like a Windows computer but my old laptop it had Movie Maker on it so I can use that but it's I'm just struggling we'll see how it all works out so thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later bye